Welcome to the Music Reel. I'm the host, Nicola Burton. With me today, I have Manny Kirikidis from the Pushwork Group. And our very special guest today is Tudor Vasumi. He's from Mental Awareness Foundation. Now, Tudor, we've been involved with for a couple of years now, supporting the annual Walk for Awareness. Now, it's, it's very important for us in the music industry to talk about mental health. But this is a foundation and an annual event that deals with it um, very, very specifically. So this is why we wanted to talk to Tudor today. So Tudor, thank you very much for taking the time to join us. How are you? Hey guys, how are you doing? Thank you so much for having me. Good to see you both. Well, we course, to, I guess we wanted to hear, first of all, how did you go in lockdown? How did that impact what you've been doing with your businesses? Um, wow, hasn't it? Um, you know, it's funny. It's, everyone asks that question, how are you? And it's a very... Um, the, re, the response is very, uh, you have to think about the response these days on, on, on how to, to, to answer that question. But, um, you know, I'd say it's a bit of a roller coaster ride is probably the best analogy on how to explain it. Um, you know, leading into, for me, lockdown really happened on Monday the 23rd when uh, Scott Morrison announced that uh, we'll be shutting all businesses that are, and my line of work is that I'm in the health and fitness industry outside of my charity, the Mental Awareness Foundation which we have, um, I have a number of those Snap Fitness gym franchises and, um, you know, having to, to shut those gyms down and then um, for a prolonged period of time of, I reckon, about two or three weeks before uh, JobKeeper kicked in was um, uh, very emotional, uh, very emotional. You know, I went from being in shock, um, uh, being in um, a disbelief, uh, then I was... Um, then I had to let go of 35 of my staff and some of them have families and some of them have kids. Uh, they were upset and it's hard not to take that on board. Um, and then you get angry and then you get lost. Uh, and then um, JobKeeper kicks in, which is great. It's a bit of a lifeline, as we all know, to businesses and, and employers across Australia, um, you know, bringing them back to work. Uh, and then, um, and then trying to now navigate through all the rules and regulations and the procedures and, and what we have to comply to 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 open in um, you know open very shortly. Well, in gyms now in Queensland, we're opening you know this week. So um, which I is really exciting. appreciate that you've taken the time to go through every single emotion because that's an, a critical part of dealing with mental health mm. is allowing mm. yourself to feel every emotion as it comes up mm. is what you don't mm. allow yourself to feel then wears its ugly head down the track and you you know you've been triggered by something you can't necessarily deal with it. you don't have the strategies to deal mm. with it so i really appreciate you actually mm. outlining every mm. single step because mental health that's part of it is allowing yourself to feel it and i think we went through the same process didn't we manny all those different stages absolutely angry feeling scared feeling like oh my god so, yeah, no, thank you for that. I, um, no, it just, um, it probably just to touch on that a little bit, something I learned about myself, I, I probably wasn't as, I'm not as resilient and as strong as I think I am. And I thought I could get through this whole period. And um, I, I was, I had like a bit of a breakdown on the first week. I couldn't breathe. My chest caved in on me. I was having the shakes. I could not believe what was happening. I had the, the fear of losing everything that I'd created. Um, I was uh, concerned that I had so many uh, staff members that I've had to, you know, uh, put on the dole, so to speak. And, um, and I was so blessed Um uh, we can talk about it now, but so blessed I had family around me. I had a support network around me. I had people I could, I guess, being in the mental health space now, I was able to communicate and talk um, to friends and loved ones. Um, but, you know, when I have to say this, there's a lot of Australians out there that don't have that privilege, don't have that support network and don't know where to turn. And, um, and, uh, you know, people are doing it tough right now, guys. Nicole, like it's, you know, without going into the numbers, but suicides are going up, anxiety, mental illnesses are going through the roof during this pandemic. And um, now more than ever is the time we need to be talking about one's mental health and, um, and helping, doing what Australians do best, helping out a fellow mate. Agreed. And I think part of the reason we started the music reel was, first of all, to stay connected to our team to keep them mentally okay 
and then to stay connected to our music force. And then it's expanded out of there. And we've been interviewing people, about four or five people a day for the last couple of months. And a lot of them say, thank you for talking to me because I haven't had anyone to talk to me for the last mm. couple of days. So mm. people need to, they need to use their voice. They need to tell their story. They need to know that someone's listening to them. And that's something that, you know, was so incredibly, so incredibly important for us. And um, if I could just add to that, it, it is like we're, we are all going through a really tough time at the moment in Australia, like really, really tough. Um, and uh, this is where we really need to be a little bit more um, observant or aware of our fellow Aussies that are out there, colleagues that we work with, um, our friends and our neighbours next door. Uh, people are losing jobs at the moment. Um, and, you know, they've got mortgages to pay and they've got bills to pay. Your reaction to this may be totally different to how I manage and deal with this. So um, the simple, it, 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 where Australians fall over, I'm getting a bit of, of a tangent here because you've touched on a very passionate subject that I'm on about, Good. but where Australians tend to fall over um, and it comes down to education and, and changing the stereotype of Aussies is that we don't ask that question, are you okay? You know, um, it's not, it, yes, we know about it. Yes, as adults, we know we should, but... Um, to a majority of people out there, they feel it's an overwhelming burden that they have to go up to somebody and ask that question, hey, mate, are you okay? And, um, and most of the time, the information we're getting is because they're concerned about what the response will be. Um, you know, they're concerned about um, if, it, if it's a response that they can't deal with or they don't know how to manage or they, they're not a doctor, so how am I supposed to help Manny when he's telling me about his feelings or his emotions? But um, it, that's where Aussies fall over. But if we can learn to move forward through that, but just to listen and go, you know what, I'm just here to listen, I'm impartial, please download all your um, information onto me. Let's have a good chat. And, um, and you know what? Maybe I can steer you into getting some help or speaking to a doctor or speaking to your loved one or your wife or your husband or, or someone who can at least put, you know, continue that journey of um, getting you through that st mental state that you're in without it escalating into something, uh, something worse. So, um, but yeah, look, it, it's one area that we as Australians need to improve on. And, um, and I think we are, we are, we definitely are. Like mm -hmm. 10 years ago, you know, you wouldn't talk about mental health. You wouldn't talk about, um, especially in the music industry, you know, you get out there, you're rock and rollers, mate. You jump on stage, you live the dream, <laughs> you know, you, you rock it out, you go home, you party, you drink, yeah. you, do, you do whatever you got to do and you get up the next day and you do it again. Um, but now it's, it's, it's no, let's, let's, you know, let's, let's, you've got a problem. Let's talk about it. You know, let's, let's, let's share each other's emotions and feelings. So I going off a bit of a, a, a on a tangent no, there, guys. That's a little bit, so, that's all. Um, because you started okay. the annual walk, walk for awareness. And I think that is yeah. a great way for people to get out, have that big walk and share that experience mm. and mm. enjoy the music and all of the activities that day. And that's how we've sort of come to work with you. So I guess, yeah. you know, I would like to know, I mean, it's how are you going to continue that when lockdown mm. eases? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a million dollar question. Distancing <laughs> and yeah. Um, well, um, just, for, just for those that don't know, um, we started the Mental Awareness Foundation 10 years ago ago and it was purely to create awareness for those Australians out there that are battling a mental illness. Um, just to highlight the stigma in society and to get people discussing, to talking, so breaking that stigma. Um, our annual event we do is called Walk for Awareness. It's in October, which is Queensland Mental Health Month um, in Queensland. And um, it's a way for us to kind of bring the community together to share ideas on mental health, to get them connected with other people who have suffered to, to, to share stories, but also connect them with other industry folk who might be able to lead them in the right direction. But also, just to let people know they're not alone. Um, we walk an 8K walk around um, the streets of Queensland. Now people all over Australia are doing it um, to raise money for frontline charities. Uh, we had over 3,000 people in Queensland, a, a few thousand people in other states, uh, and we had people walking in New Zealand and over in Europe. So 2019 was a big year. 2020, 
um, hasn't that just kind of um, uh, turned on its head, hasn't it? So, um, yeah. So, look, guys, it, it, this is, I, I won't lie, it has been very hard, very challenging. We are dealing with the, the fact that we cannot congregate in groups of people at the moment of more than 20 people. Um, we're anticipating by October of the launch of Mental Health Week, we'll have up to a boutique group of 500 people um, together in one space. However, what this COVID-19 has done to us, it's pushed us to take the walk virtual. Um, you're probably hearing other events that are going uh, virtual as well. Yes. But we've actually had to now change our strategy to go, right, you know what, this isn't just Queensland, this is Australia. We need to be walking for our friends, uh, for our uh, Aussies out there. We're walking the 8Ks for the eight Australians we lose every day to, to, to a mental illness and uh, to be raising money for these much-needed frontline cha charities, more so in, than ever. Um, so we have had to really develop a process of going online, but now we're, we're going around building micro-events in communities around um around australia and um yeah and and but one thing i wanted to kind of leverage you guys with and uh, maybe if anyone's listening or watching this can maybe help out is that we're trying to to get communities together whether it's rural or sydney a metropolitan yeah. city and go you know what we're going to partner with either a men's shed or um another organization where you can meet as a boutique event you know 500 people um, but we we see this as a celebration um, to create awareness like what we do in Brisbane. We have um, the great support of the artists that uh, your organisation and your company brings down. But we want this in, in each state. Um, and w whether we can lean on the, uh, the talent of any musicians are, uh, are, are listening to this or watching this, then go, you know what? We're here to support and we'll jump in and, and, and uh, get behind an event, whether it's in, um, in Sydney or it, whether it's in Ayers Rock, for crying out loud. I thought even that would be fantastic. We had a bunch of individuals um, walking around or doing an 8K out that part of town or even Niagara Falls or, I don't know, not the, the other side of the world or whatever. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, look, our, um, Nicola, our event has definitely changed. Um, you know, it, it is, um, you know, there's a silver lining in everything and we just think, you know, um, now we can get our message of uh, togetherness, of, of helping Australians together um, on a macro level out to Australia and what better way to do it is through a virtual walk mm -hmm. where people in their communities um, can create something, you know. So, oh, um, yeah, so it's going to be challenging but we're, we're, there to, we're there to get it happen make it happen you know tutor i think you've answered all like all my questions in one neat bundle <laughs> i haven't like, heard you speak um, yeah, <laughs> you're just making an excuse aren't you so you don't have to do too much work this morning that's it i can relax today so one neat <laughs> bundle so but i think it's a wonderful <laughs> initiative and i think that where you're going with the clusters and broadening the scope to include all of australia is i think a really interesting um, um, scenario so from our point of view, we're very fortunate because we've got a national uh, roster of touring artists and local artists in various states. So we'd like to probably research further working with you to bring some of those profile people from all states, mm. you, know, you know, like as far as Western Australia. And interestingly, we do actually have artists that are based in Alice Springs as well, certainly Darwin. Yes. But Alice Springs, so we have a... A few, you know, uh, you know, artists in that territory. Obviously, Alice Springs is a little bit, you know, mm. like it lies yeah. away from Uluru, but we can engineer something. So after this, or in the next couple of weeks, we should, you know, once you get your enterprises up and running, we should actually sit down, at, you know, in, like in a social distancing environment, 1.5 metres away from Yep, yep, I agree. <laughs> well done. <laughs> in the cone of silence. <laughs> and myself and Nikki, and we should sit down and actually, like, engineer something because we can bring... Mm bring to, to the table not just the artists but also the associations that, that were part of in the music mm -hmm. industry plus the entertainment industry and we can bring some you know 
save some other energy from, you know, like interstate wise as well. So we'd love to do that with you, Tudor. And Wonderful. I've enjoyed being involved in, you know, the, the it, like events themselves. I think, you know, we've mm. now been there for the last four years, I think, from memory. for Four, three four more. For, yeah, I was going to say even longer, but uh, yeah, it, it could be four. I was going to maybe even say five or six, but yeah, definitely yeah. you've been around, um, you're like furniture there now, Manny, oh, and it's not an event without you and your organisation. And exactly. I just want to say, look, mate, thank you to you and, and thank you to Nicola because, guys, without... Um, you know, that added element that you guys bring, uh, you guys really take the event to another level. And, um, you know, musicians are in the category of, you know, musicians are real people too, you know. You guys have mental health and uh, mental illnesses. And now more than ever is where we need to be coming together to help one another, to support. And I think in October we have just gone through a, uh, a roller coaster ride of emotions. We just need to step out of that negativity, step out of this, this crazy world and, and create awareness and celebration and support. And that's what our events are about. You think a mental health walk is going to be sad. Manny, you turn up our event, everyone's yeah. on stilts and clowns and hugging right. each other. There's yeah. rock bands, there's um, food carts. Mate, it's like a mini festival for, and people yeah. go, oh, that's, that's a, it's a, a mental health event. You go, hell yeah, man, we're having fun. We're celebrating this, um, celebration this experience. Of Exactly. Yeah. So it's not um, absolutely. So, if, so if I could just add to what you're saying, it's more, now more than ever we need to probably work together and uh, yes. and to make this happen in the communities around Australia. A hundred percent. And I guess my final question for you is: Do you mm. think that there's ever a day in the future where we'll be able to return to the full walk for awareness, where we've got thousands of people together with that, you know, that live connection energy, which is mm. what everyone's really looking for. Hundred percent, you know. Hundred percent, you know. When, um, you know, this this is just a a blip in in the system at the moment, and we'll, we will come back to normal. Um, you know, the the beauty about uh, the human race is that we always will come together uh, at one stage, and um, you know, we're going to get through this. Uh, we're going to get through this. Yeah, it's tough right now. Um, you know, countries around the world are finding vaccines and uh, and finding cures for this. And um, and uh, and this event will go on. And uh, it, it's 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 the largest mental health walk in Australia. Um, and we're trying to make it the largest mental health walk in the world. And the power of the people will unite, and they will ensure that this uh, this this will this will happen once again. So well, you've heard it here. It will go on. Things will return to normal. Um, now, in the meantime, I'm going to put all the information about the Mental Awareness Foundation and the mm -hmm. Walk for Awareness um, yep. in all of, all of the information. And I would really strongly encourage you to, I guess, go online and see what's happening with these events in October and participate. And I think Manny and I will be putting together some packages for you guys. So stay mm -hmm. looking out for that. But Tudor, thank you so much for taking the time I know we tried this twice before, but we finally achieved it today. <laughs> Thank you so much. And please um, take care. And we really appreciate the work that you are doing in the community. It makes a big difference, especially to people in the music industry who need it right now with all this uncertainty. So, yeah. Thank, thank you, you, guys. Thank you very much. And, uh, and look out for one another, people. Uh, if you're watching this and listening to it, look out for one each other and uh, help your fellow Aussies out. Thanks very much. Great message. Bye, everyone. Thanks, thank guys.